Jesus. This is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And my gift to you is this video about the prostate, the scourge of older men. I will talk about the metaphysical reasons for prostate issues, which will be followed by an find the root cause and release as much as possible meditation. And then there will be a guided meditation where you will do an energy healing on your prostate. And if you are watching this, you are most likely are waking up spiritually and uh, probably nightly many times because Mother Nature has you on speed dial. And I ask that you will absorb whatever knowledge is for your highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes for you. Amen. And uh, please only accept uh, the information that resonates with you and understand that my knowledge comes from 40 years of intense spiritual study, practice and uh, several thousand past life regressions and that I have no medical education whatsoever. And uh, yes, I do a personal Skype session, just send me an email. So, Chinese medicine for thousands of years, as well as uh, Louisa Hayes, uh, more recently have uh, claimed that emotions are stored in the energy bodies of certain organs, like uh, the prostate, you know, which uh, represents, you could say, the masculine principle. Um, <clears throat> so, um, like... Uh, uh, Mental fears, for instance, uh, seem to be weaken the masculinity, or like giving up, or maybe a sexual pressure and guilt, or in the belief of uh, aging, um, or repressed sexuality. Uh, so uh, many of our social mores and convention deny and illegitimize sexuality and as a result uh, people tend to develop self-hatred, hatred, self-disgust, guilt and shame and uh, secretly act out what is uh, something uh, completely natural. I mean uh, in many cases uh, religion has uh, used has been used to so, uh, press uh, sexuality uh, which of course, leads to guilt, and through guilt, uh, you can be uh, manipulated. Mea culpa, great manipulation tool, uh, used by several religions <laughs> quite intensively. Uh, you know who you are. And uh, then there is, of course, also the Edgar Casey Health uh, Database. Uh, the prostate is a male sex gland, part of the male's reproductive system. The prostate is about the size of a walnut. It is located below the bladder and in front of the rectum. Cancer of the prostate is the most common malignancy in American men. It is estimated that this year in the United States nearly 250,000 men, which is the population of Orlando, Florida, will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. And about 40,000 men will die from this disease. And in the majority of men with prostate cancer, it is very slowly growing. And most of these men die with prostate cancer and not from it. Uh, early prostate cancer is localized, that means confined to the gland, and the majority of patients with localized prostate cancer have a long survival after diagnosis. Um, well, as Louisa Hayes puts it, our sexual organs were created as the most pleasurable parts of our bodies. Denying pleasure creates pain and punishment. Well. In my opinion, in the prostate pain that you are experiencing, 
Uh, you are connecting to your own personal trauma from this and past life, which you experienced in the role of a man. And also you, uh, the collective uh, trauma of man, not, uh, there is a bleed over. Um, just like where women, you know, uh, during their um, PMS time, uh, have tuned into their personal trauma as a woman as well as into the collective trauma as men. Does that ring a bell? Does that resonate with you? And <coughs> uh, for instance, abuse that is um, barely recollected or talked about by the victims, uh, but does uh, great harm, you know, to our emotional and spiritual uh, facilities. So we in male bodies have been raped over the coals of war, uh, the hunt, uh, heavy labor, and all, all kinds of other male-related stresses. Uh, we males live 10 years less than women, and we are all heavily wounded and need the kindness and understanding from both polarities. Uh, Ultimately, we all want a healing of our male and female aspects. And because we had male and female incarnations, it is very beneficial even for women to do this prostate clearing video too. And uh, for men, of course, also to do this guided meditation. And uh, my dear friends that are residing in a human body now, please understand that a great part of the human drama, you know, the luge machine, is the dynamic of the human sexuality, duality, yes. You know, uh, this is uh, the big one, you know, that creates you know, a lot of suffering, you know, the love songs, <laughs> anybody, you know, love is the drug, and uh, we are all addicted to the drug of love, so um, yeah, so this all, this trauma, lifetime after lifetime around sexuality, around love, uh, definitely, in my opinion, affects our sexual organs. Um, one of, uh, like a physical thing that is uh, excellent to uh, strengthen the uh, prostate, um, and to get stamina is to perform kegels, uh, find out uh, what kegels are, do your own research. Um, you know, about 50,000 each day, that's uh, very nice. Yeah, I'm just kidding, I, I do not count. Um, so, um, just uh, for the guided meditation, please sit uh, comfortable in an office chair and uh, balance your body so that everything stacks up nicely. Uh, it's very difficult to enjoy bliss when your back hurts or when you're slumping over or fall asleep. Um, some can go deeper laying down, which of course again has the danger of falling asleep. Personally, I prefer, I prefer sitting in the Sufi grind. It uh, gives, gives me a better connection to the heavens and earth energy and keeps my spine tweaked. Um, use earbuds or headphones <laughs> to cancel out outside distraction and suddenly for better sound quality a lot sound a lot more nicer over headphones than over you know, a smartphone and uh, uh, for surely do not drive or operate heavy machinery if you're on a podcast uh, and uh, smile as an idiot so you will not have access to higher dimensions unless you smile and uh, vibrate with the love frequency. And uh, initially, I mean really, uh, breathe at a pace that you can hear the air flowing through your nostril. Uh, this is not the time initially to go into Kumbhakana, this means uh, reten breath retention. Uh, initially, uh, my breath is designed to open your chakras and energy fields. And, and then, you know, once it's all open and squeaky clean, 
uh, then you can maybe go into breath retention. But initially, uh, this is going to be just a very shallow, energetic experience for you, and you might just fall asleep. Uh, I hear, oh, I fall asleep in your meditation. Well, first of all, you're probably relaxing and haven't been relaxed enough. Uh, second, you're probably also very tired, um, getting less than eight hours of sleep. So this is the first chance that your body takes, booms and you're out. Um, so if you want to be aware and make uh, strong decisions, uh, breathe strongly and you will have a much, much better result. I mean, really. And <coughs> so, uh, also, you do not have to repeat my affirmation, just to think or say Amen. Uh, when I say Amen, this is my habit. Or nod your head or smile, uh, give thumbs up. Uh, I'm not your daddy, but your spirit guides and the angel and other higher beings. Uh, they are kind of aware how committed you are. Also, be in a childlike state of innocence, doing the Gada meditation, or smile like an idiot, and reside in your heart. Uh, you know, pay attention to what pops up in your mind, uh, but uh, even if it doesn't make sense in the moment, do not go up there and, oh, this, how is this possible, and this and that, uh, because then you start to judge and to rationalize, and uh, you're not in your heart anymore. And, uh, you know, up here you just push concepts around, thought forms around. Uh, from here you can get uh, inspiration. Right? And uh, if you're laying down, you can actually place uh, one hand onto your heart and the other one on the solar plexus, or hold crystals in your hands. Are you uh, holding crystals in your hands? is uh, always a, a good thing. Gives you an uplift of about 20% at least. Mm -hmm. So now just uh, close your eyes and uh, we connect to organic, an uh, absolute source, uh, nobody higher than this, no artificial overlays separating you from absolute source. And uh, we connect also to organic, our own highest self. Mm -hmm. And then we connect to organic, our spirit guides all the way up to source. And as a more local, physical representation of source, we also connect to Milky Way Galaxy, the local Logos, yeah. this huge female being, this accumulation of consciousness from all these billions of suns, this uncountable enlightened beings. And we also connect them more locally to the sun on all dimensions, and even more local to the earth, and the directions here, and the, the elements here, and all the beings that still love us unconditionally. Thank you for coming. And we ask that everything that happens in and from this meditation here is coming, is going to be for the highest good, in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. We also ask that we stay conscious and awake, are completely protected, have a great time, and uh, are be shown through omens and other signs that this is a real thing. Uh, so there is no more doubt in our mind. And that we really take advantage here uh, for the maximum highest benefit for ourselves. Amen, 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 amen. And now extend uh, your spine with your breath into the earth, like a taproot. Just breathe and extend your spine like a taproot into the earth. Smile like an idiot and breathe deeply all the way in and all the way out. Breathe.
breathe it and speak that you can hear the air flowing through your nostrils. And breathe smooth, not digital, just full power in and then full power stop and full power out. No, 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 just smooth, like the ocean laps at the shore. Organic. And now also extend your legs as tap roots into the earth, mother as deep as you can imagine mm -hmm. and smile and on the inhale invite her love to stream through those roots into your body all the way up to the top of your head and on the exhale you send your love and energy through those roots all the way deep into the earth and you just breathe, smiling back and forth, all the way in and all the way out. Instead of breathing air, you're breathing love for Mother Earth, and your lungs are your roots in this time. And now we ask our most potent spirit guides to clear from us any resistances that are in our energies, bodies, uh, that presents, prevents us from properly grounding and connecting with your Earth Mother. So this could be from curses, spells, vows, implants, technologies, and many other things like trauma or ghost. And there is even a lot more. But it doesn't matter right now. We like to have as much cleared as possible without having to look at the details. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Just smile and again breathe back and forth between the Earth Mother and you. Know that she loves you unconditionally. And any block starts receiving love from Mother Earth, we also like to have cleared, maybe guilt or not wanting to be here, or thinking that earth life is not good, that we only should go for spiritual life. We ask that the source removes all these kind of misconceptions from our heart, you know, those that are actually diverting us from our true path towards enlightenment. Amen, amen. And we ask our spirit guides to clear our spine, the shushumna, and to clear, align, and energize our chakras, our energy centers, and our physical body, as well as also our celestial energy centers that uh, are above our head, outside our physical bodies, but still in our force field. Please do so now, amen. And now, on the exhale, I'll send your love all the way up to the ceiling and imagine that Milky Way galaxy, this big wheel of Milky Way galaxy is there. And on the inhale, you pull in the love of Milky Way galaxy. Smile like an idiot and breathe like a skin diver. Mm -hmm. Back and forth, back and forth. Mm -hmm. We ask for a special outpouring of love from Milky Way Galaxy unto us and an upliftment and a clearing of any predatory cords or other technologies that steal our energy, that dump bad karma into us or that manipulate our mind against our highest good. Please do so now. Amen. It is not allowed anymore, this piracy of our energies. We are sovereign beings 
And in the name of the Most High, we ask that this be stopped now on all levels. Amen, 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 Amen. Just agree with this, it's quite important. This is your life mm -hmm, and your body. <coughs> And now, um, the pull in the love from the heavens as well as from the Earth Mother simultaneously into your heart. And on the exhale, expand it from your heart. Just like a sunshine, create a sunshine that you fuel with the love from heaven and earth merging in your heart. And smile like an Indian. And just have your hands just lay in your lap. Mm -hmm. And now on the exhale, you send that love that you pulled into your heart, into your groin area into your prostate, your testicles, mm -hmm. till they glow in the dark, but not from Cheeto dust. Just keep smiling, breathe like an alien. Mm -hmm. Now ask for the presence of expert ascension teams that ask for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes to please arrange for the high selves of any lost soul aspect of yours or maybe your loved one to ascend those ghosts that are being invoked you know, in this coming ceremony and meditation and to rejoin them with other loved ones that they're looking for and have lost on the astral plane. Rejoin them and then bring them home into the heavens, into the real heavens. Uh, no forced reincarnation, uh, no piracy, no slavery, uh, the real bona fide heavens as, as intended by absolute source. Amen. Just nod your head in agreement and keep on pumping low. <clears throat> and we also ask for the presence of expert healing teams from the higher dimensions that act for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes to please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental and spiritual trauma to healing energy and upgrade us to our divine blueprints as much as possible. Amen. You know, activate the healing power that is there in our DNA to activate that ability that is there. Amen, amen, amen. And just nod your head in agreement without the interruption of pumping of love. And now we ask your highest self to give you a yes, of which would be a flow of energy from the head to the heart, so you know how that feels like. Of course, it can also tell you yes, give you a thumbs up, smile, or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, it's kind of difficult to fake a flow of energy without really trying, so let's just ask to give you a clear yes now. Amen. And if you couldn't feel it, ask it to make it a lot stronger. Just give us a much, much stronger yes now. Amen. And just relax. And if this wasn't strong enough, ask that it is made even stronger or maybe give you a separate, a separate you know, a different signal that's much more conducive for you now. Amen.
Okay, and now we ask to be given a clear no, which would be a flow of energy from your heart to the feet. So please give us a clear no now. Amen. And if this wasn't strong enough, make it stronger, please. Now. Amen. All right. And if you haven't gotten any clear answer, um, you might maybe use a pendulum to get answers. Maybe keep your eyes open, use a pendulum. Uh, if you don't know how to use a pendulum, I have a video on how to use a pendulum. <laughs> and um, just follow the procedure there, you know, ask them for protection and the highest guidance so you don't get hijacked, right? So... <clears throat> But let's say, uh, uh, let's ask the first question about your prostate. Uh, first of all, do you have significant trauma there? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. And uh, so, uh, we will be invoking all kinds of you know, beings, and so we ask, um, you know, that there will be ascension teams, volunteer ascension teams, and to please rejoin those lost ghosts with their highest self aspects now. Mm -hmm. Also, please transmute, you know, any physical, astral, emotional, mental, spiritual trauma uh, to healing energy and upgrade and everything to the divine blueprint as much as possible. So, uh, let's ask, do we have trauma from hitchhiking ghosts um, that riding on us, like strangers that got into us when we were intoxicated or in anesthesia, or like our own ancestors, like grandmother, or maybe deceased brothers, yes or no? And so we ask that they then be, you know, brought to the heavens now. Amen, 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 amen. As discussed before, the Ascension teams, please do so now. Amen. And now let's ask whether you are carrying trauma around sexual orientation from this lifetime or past lifetime in your prostate or sexual organs, yes or no? And if yes, we ask that any soul fragments, ghosts, or imprints, karmas from this be cleared now. Amen, amen, amen. And now, while this is going on, Ask whether you're still carrying any guilt around sexual imbalances, whether it's maybe overactive or underactive. Probably somebody wasn't happy with us in some lifetimes or it was declared as abnormal. And um, so just ask whether you have still any guilt that is negatively affecting your health. Uh, and if yes, we like to have any soul aspects and karma, etc. cleared from you now. Amen, 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 amen. Now let's ask, do we have any guilt around using people for sexual pleasure? Yes or no? And if yes, we asked for clearing, just like before. Amen. And now asked, are you still carrying any guilt or shame about having been used for sexual pleasure? As a sex toy, so to say. Yes or no? And then we like to have any soul fragments and trauma cleared. Amen, amen, amen. 
Um, let's ask whether you're having any trauma from this in past lifetimes about honoring your sexual boundaries, yes or no? And if yes, let's have those entities, soul fragments and trauma cleared. Now, amen, 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 amen. And of course, uh, let's ask now, do we still carrying any fear related to power, money and survival in our sexual organs, yes or no? You know, this whole provider thing, providing from the family, bringing home the bacon, having a good bank account, providing safety, you know, all this, when this fails, well, the whole anxiety can be stored there. So again, do we carry some of this stuff, yes or no? And then let's have all this trauma cleared, amen. Now the next one, are we still carrying uh, trauma from cultural suppression and judgment uh, due to being a man? Like the men are all pigs, <laughs> or men only want one thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and if there is, and if there are soul fragments or ghosts stuck with this, clear, we like to have this cleared. Amen, 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 amen. And now, uh, as this clearing is going on, we progress to some more juicy stuff. So if you're very sensitive, you might uh, maybe kind of stop here. Um, so this is about now ask whether you're still carrying trauma in your prostate about being sexually abused as a child. Yes or no? And if yes, well, let's ask again. Maybe even if you're not getting anything, just ask again. And we have to know the truth. We have the right to know the truth. And the, you know, in one, two, three, you will know the truth. One, two, three. Have you been sexually abused as a child, yes or no? Or maybe even uh, as in past lifetime, are you still carrying trauma from sexual abuse as a child, yes or no? And we like to have all this cleared in all aspects, amen, amen, amen. And Let's ask, have you been maybe raped and carry trauma from this? Uh, maybe dropped the soap too many times, wrong place, wrong time, yes or no? And let's have this clear too, amen. And while this is being clearing, let's ask whether you, you have had ritual sexual abuse as an initiation or through black magic, yes or no. And if yes, you like to have that trauma also cleared from yourself. And wherever any of these traumas that you experience in any of those lifetimes, if you maybe afflicted those unto others in other lifetimes, we ask that those be clear too, and that it's just fair, and we will be forgiven as we forgive others, right? Amen. Now, are you also carrying trauma about being blamed, you know, about infertility? 
sometimes an heir was needed and uh, sometimes the woman was blamed, sometimes the man was blamed, so uh, you're still carrying trauma around from that, yes or no? And if yes, we like to have this cleared now. Amen, 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 amen. And now a big thing is also sometimes, you know, we conceived unwanted children uh, with horrible results, got people into trouble, and so we vowed not to conceive any children anymore, to be infertile, you know, or not to bring children into this cruel world anymore. So, uh, are we still carrying trauma from these kind of lifetimes, yes or no? Are we still being affected by vows of sterility from those lifetimes, yes or no? And we like to have this cleared, please. You know, for both sides of the fence. Amen, 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 amen. And maybe you are affected, asked whether you are affected by guilt about rape and the children that were created through this. Yes or no? And we like to have, if yes, those children also liberated and brought home, reunited with their loved ones in the heavens. Amen, amen, amen. Now are you maybe carrying um, trauma in your sexual organs uh, from the wrath and curses of women that you raped in past lifetime or in this lifetime? Yes or no? And if yes, I would appreciate if you uh, apologize to them and beg for forgiveness and also clearing of the karma and the trauma and the curses they put on you and all the negative energy that they have sent to your sexual organs. Please do so now, Amen. Now ask if you also carry trauma from having to abandon kids because of poverty or starvation, sometimes abandoning them, sometimes killing them, sometimes selling them off to slavery, you know, of other reasons. Are you still carrying trauma from stuff like this? Yes or no? And if yes, we like to have all those children reunited, ask for forgiveness. And that they are all brought to the heavens, again with their moms and dads, and be reunited again. Amen, amen, amen. Now ask, and uh, I think many of us uh, carry this kind of trauma, whether we have been castrated as harem guards or, you know, out of punishment, maybe we got conquered, or, you know, in the Chinese courts, um, you know, you know, all the government servants, you know, were castrated. I mean, radically, there were no more genitalia left. You know, it was written that the courts smelled of stale urine everywhere. You know, all these powerful people carrying diapers. Well, sometimes there was castration as for population control, you know, for conquered population. So, 
or we were deemed unfit to procreate, um, like the Nazis would castrate feeble-minded men or alcoholics or others that they call perverts. So let's ask uh, whether we carry trauma like this, yes or no. And we like to have that cleared. And where we affected others with this, where we castrated others, we apologized and like to have that cleared too. We like all these organs energetically be reunited with the etheric body again, with the main body. Mm -hmm. And everything we integrated with the soul again. Amen, 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 amen. Now, of course, also your testosterone level goes down uh, with disempowerment. And uh, so probably this happened a lot with us. So let's ask, I mean, the Egyptian, Roman or Spartan or other cultures of slavery, uh, where we were disempowered, uh, and we still carry trauma from this that affects our sexual organs, yes or no? And let's have this trauma cleared. And whoever stuck souls are there, please ascend it to the heavens. You know, either way of the fence, whether you were on the, you know, receiving end or on the giving end of slavery. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen, amen. Now, sometimes, you know, we were used as chess pieces. Uh, in arranged marriages for reasons other than love, like financial or political power, and of course being used as a chess piece by your masters, your father, your king, or whatever, and not being able to choose the one you love. That's a great, you know, demonstration of your own powerlessness. So are you still carrying trauma from that around? Yes or no? And if yes, we have this, please this trauma cleared and any soul fragments reunited with their soul. Amen, 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 amen. Another feeling of powerlessness and devaluation which can affect your genitalia is if you have been squandered in war, <laughs> like, you know, the Russians, three guys to a gun, yeah, you know, or blood games, like uh, duels, like gladiators, yeah, you know, sometimes even for private entertainment, <laughs> emperors uh, had gladiators fright, you know, in front of them, you know, just knife fighting to the death, just squander them like that. But uh, they got also pretty well cursed, and <laughs> I have to say, I know from experience. So, I say also, it's as trauma from being rejected by women. Right? This can also affect you, yes or no. And uh, so probably there are a lot of ghosts that follow these women around, like lovesick puppies. And so we like to have them picked up and brought into the heavens, maybe by their merciful high selves or by some goddess. Mm -hmm. And that trauma cleared of that rejection, please. Amen, 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 amen. And now ask whether you, uh, your genitalia are negatively affected by curses and bad wishes unto the manhood testicles fertility from envious, hostile women or men. Yes or no? And I would say most likely everybody has been cursed like that. 
you know, I mean, jealousy. Oh God, this is so common, what I found. So, so common. Mm -hmm. And so we like to have those aspects of us liberated, you know, healed to brought to the heavens and any baggage from them cleared from us now. Amen. And now we are asked whether we are being affected in our, you know, with our health, sexual organs, health, by generational curses unto our bloodline. Yes or no? Amen. And we apologize to those, you know, that we affected negatively or that our ancestors affected negatively and ask that uh, this all be cleared, that they also be liberated, brought into the heavens once they have forgiven that these curses please be cleared for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes that there's going to be a lot of mercy amen 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 and while this clearing is going on just ask whether you actually are personally affected by uh, curses you know that you deserved personally not your bloodline, but through your own personal history, uh, yes or no. And let's have that cleared, and any trapped entities returned, you know, to their soul. Amen. And now ask whether your prostate is affected by black magic, you know, or negative higher dimensional curses vows, spells, implants, like voodoo dolls. Yes or no? Amen. And let's have that cleared too, on all levels, please. Amen. And there's a lot now here, I'm just gonna sum this up. Let's ask whether your sexual organs are negatively impacted you know, from this or past life influences, from casts, molds, rings, cords, plates, metal spikes, and other devices or methods not mentioned here, but that spirit knows are harmful and illegal and against <laughs> your free will and definitely not. Uh, approved by your high self, yes or no. And let's ask, you know, absolute source and, and the compassion of absolute source like the comp cosmic Christ to have this cleared now on all levels. Amen, 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 amen. And now let's ask, are you still affected by uh, the trauma from mass consciousness in your sexual organs? Yes or no? And let's have this clear too. Now, amen, amen, amen. Now, this is another type of trauma pretty weird, but uh, definitely real. Let's ask uh, whether you still carry trauma in your genetics, in your uh, genitalia, or where you were being used as a, let's say, as a slave, as a sex slave, maybe even, you know, used for breeding, like it happened to, like, African-American slaves in America. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? And you like to have that cleared and any ghost or soul fragments brought home. Amen. And let's ask whether we still carry any trauma from being a sex slave, you know, maybe even alien sex slave, which is even worse. Yes or no?
And let's have this cleared and I would say any sex slave aspects or clone aspects that you know that they be returned to the soul and cannot be you know trapped anymore, that they be liberated. Amen, amen, amen. Let's appeal to the highest source of spiritual justice that all yeah, the slavery is being ended and then you did this to others in other lifetimes we ask that they also be cleared and liberated amen, amen, amen <laughs> and now uh, ask about alien abduction breeding programs it happens to a lot of us so are you still carrying you know um, trauma in your genitalia, you know, from being harvested for your DNA, yes or no? And you like to have that trauma cleared from all levels of your being, and if it's not approved by your high self, uh, we ask that all those abductions be cancelled, they have no right anymore. We invoke absolute source to and protect us from unwanted reduction now. Amen, 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 amen. And now let's ask whether you are um, negatively affected by other alien experiments on your genitalia, not just harvesting, there can be other experiments. Um, so, yes or no? And let's have that cleared and also quarantined so they can't do this anymore unless your high self agreed. Amen, amen, amen. So now let's ask, and this is quite a, a complicated question, but so we humans, we treating animals currently are not so good. So we not only, you know, raising them for food and slaughtering them, um, but also, uh, you know, a lot of dogs, cats and farm animals are getting castrated. So how much of that um, tr karma and trauma is uh, being carried, you know, by you? So asked if you have carryover of animal castration trauma, yes or no? And if yes, uh, even if you're down, you know, apologize to those animals. And we ask that they be reunited with those body parts. So there's no damage to their divine blueprint and their DNA. And of course, we also personally let their also their souls to be returned and reunited if they're somehow trapped. Mm -hmm. And that then, of course, also that karma on us, please be cleared. Amen, 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 amen. And now as a blessing, maybe we ask for the benefits, a blessing of the medical plant saw palmetto which is a kind of a goddess deva so let's invoke her amen and ask for a clearing of our prostate and the balancing of our male hormones amen 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 and now we thank all those beings that helped us in this meditation that guided and protected us and did all the work of transmutation and one, you become aware of the womb again. And two, you slip back into your body. And your DNA and your divine blueprint is being upgraded. Your body's own healing powers are being activated. All the subtle bodies align. And now you open your eyes back in vacant day consciousness. <coughs> So, back my friends, welcome. Uh, so this was just a shotgun meditation and probably will not 
I sent all of your ghosts and traumas. Uh, not much of a time. Uh, you know, you will have uh, some insight, uh, at least here and there. And most likely, you know, do those meditations again after maybe a week or a couple of months, depending on the urgency. Um, it's like, like taking pills or teas, so just not as frequent, I would say. And uh, many issues, of course, have to be looked at in greater detail uh, before they can be released. And um, that is generally when a lesson or insight is needed uh, before the trauma can be transmuted. And uh, many times, you know, we have been the bad guy, and it's embarrassing and it's difficult to see those things by yourself. And um, so, you know, in those cases, I advise to treat yourself to a private Skype session and uh, cut right to the chase. Well, my prices are still very reasonable and um, yeah, so um, it's not just getting um, insight into those issues, it's also you know, expanding your own consciousness. Uh, so take advantage and uh, if you reacted well to the meditation, uh, watch the other ones too. Uh, so watch as many as you can, you know, spread them out and do the one that interests you first. But I can tell you, after doing thousands of past life regression, uh, most people, you know, will benefit from all the meditations. You know, don't think that you have only have a few issues here and there. Um, well, you probably feel a lot lighter now, and so drink a lot of water, two quarts. I would say two liters. If you get a headache, you need to drink more water. Take it easy. Uh, smile like an idiot. Do the cyber stuff. Subscribe. Ring the bell. You know, and share with the tribe. Uh, I make it a point to read all the messages and questions and uh, try to answer them in reasonable time. Uh, so yeah, share. Share with people around you. Right? You're physically isolated, don't isolate yourself spiritually. I love you. Namaste.